1,500 meters, set. Starter hit the lever, runners dispatch from the 1,600 meter marker. Not a bad beginning for a field of this size. Merlin from Berlin is right there. King Dadawetti in the center has got the green sleeves and cap. Victor Victorio, you only live once, is on the inside. Internet Kid, two off the right hand side, white nose band and cap. They are followed further back by two stroke. Along the inside of that one there is you live, Leave Me Alone. It's about six lengths off the lead in Jinsky Sun. Holy Land is more than midfield. It's got about seven lengths to make up and if and when. Further back is Lucius Fox as they move now towards that 600 meter region. Internet Kid has won the battle for the lead. So it's Internet Kid by a length and a quarter. Merlin from Berlin is right there as they go down towards that 600 meter mark to Victor Victoria is along the rail. King Dada Wet who's on the outside of runners. You only live once, got five to go. Then Jinsky Skun is further back in the running. Towards the outside of that is two stroke as they turn into the home stretch. Holy Land's now asked to run if and when. Coming to the 400 meter marker, Internet Kid by two. Merlin from Berlin. If and when is further back in the field. Holy Land Land's going to have to pick up. Comes towards the outside. Down on the inside. is trying to run on there. Also has very similitude. And Lucius Fox. Internet kid is flat to the boards. Two strokes. A big runner. Two strokes coming on well. If and when's on the inside. Internet kid. Two strokes coming down to the line. It goes to two stroke. Najinsky's son probably got second. Holy Land ran on for third. Internet Kid led them to the last 50 metres or so, but number two, two-stroke, Mark Dixon, the McGark's going to get up, and here's number two, two-stroke, it pays 780 and wins it. I think Ninjinsky's son, number four, will get up for their second placing. Let's just wait for the line to come from Holy Land. It's very close, that. Uh, actually, yeah, very close for second and third. So Holy Land is number 12 so that will be the qualification for the by party for run second and then Ninjinsky's son Merlin from Berlin internet kid and if and when very similar tudes further back in the run King Dada where to and then came Mr. T further back in the run toad favorite was number 12 and that was Holy Land which gets into the race late so Holy Land is three off the right hand side the winner is two off the right hand side and that is two stroke and uh, two stroke ends up winning a tier for Mark Dixon. That second place is mighty close as you can see until the running of our third race. Our third race will start off our place accumulator back to the studio. Brandon. Welcome back. We're just waiting for Brandon to make his way to the box and then we're going to do a presentation for Mr. Bomber Nell, owner of Bomber Bits Equipment, and do a little bit of a presentation. Nice to race in these silks. Obviously brings back some good memories. Yeah, it does. Um, big thanks to the guys, you know, Mr. Cummings, Samuelson and Mr. Lawson. Nice to run another winner for them. He seemed to knuckle down and he dug down in that finish. Yeah, we were obviously drawn quite deep and we wanted to go forward. But the pace was very genuine early on, and you couldn't really hold a bit. And uh, we were we, we toward, the, toward the back, but wide, and uh, sneaked up on them, and he quickened away well. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Mr. D and Hayley. Good team effort again. Well done. Well done. Let's get Mark Dixon, the winning conditioner. He's going to come through, and then we'll do a presentation from the Bomber Bits equipment. He's a horse who's shown from day one. He just needed a little bit of touch of luck in the running. Yeah, no, he's always shown me he's a half-decent horse, and just, a, you know, the, when he runs on the poly truck, everything happens a bit quick for him. I know he wanted a mile, a mile on the grass today. We, we quite liked him, although it was a, quite a competitive field. But, uh, no, Brandon gave him a lovely ride, gave him a, came in the straight wide, and uh, he quickened nicely. So I'm very happy to the, to the great trio of loyal supporters of the stable, Clint, Gary, and Rex. So thank you very much to them. Well, please step aside. We're going to do a presentation, get the... 
Bomber Nels, owner of the Bomber Bits equipment in. We've got all the Bomber Bits here, so welcome to the races today. That big smile says it all. Tell us a bit more. Thank you very much. We're very proud to pronounce, to, um, to award this prize, um, which involves um, a customized bit. We will go through to the trainer's yard and we will take a mould of a horse that he believes may have some issues in the running, may not be running straight, may, may not be running forward, um, may not be performing to its optimum. We will mould that horse's um, mouth and we will make a customised bit. Well, well done. And maybe we can help Mark Dixon and a few of the guys out in the stable as well. You can come to our place, have a look at These bomber bits are going to work. We're going to get them to run. Absolutely. We've got some drop cheap Morgans running today. Uh, there was one run, yes, um, in the earlier race. Hopefully we'll see some more out today. Well done. Final word? Well, um, I'm one of the lucky few that uh, a hobby has now become a business. And Sue and I go back a long way, and uh, I said, well, I need her to help me. So all the credit must go to Sue on the racing side. I am just the guy in the back who makes the bits. There we go, makes the bits. Mark, if you want to come through and receive that Bomber Bits prize, well done to all concerned. A training bit, racing bit, valid for three months, and consultation for a horse, dentist fee included. Bomber Bits visits the yard, and it goes to the Mark Dixon stable. So thanks very much to all concerned. The Bomber Nels, thank you very much for coming here and distributing this beautiful prize for the Mark Dixon stable. Please note that result of the second race was two and then it was a dead heat between four and twelve. Dead heat four and twelve and then fourteen.